I can't see it. Yeah. Hi friends and welcome back to another very special hobby stream here at Hobby Titans. I'm joined today by a very special guest, Miss Melanie Phillips. Melanie, how's it going? Good. It would be Mrs. though. I do like that you just Mrs. totally oh, ignored my, gosh. my husband in that sense. <laughs> yeah. Love it. He's not, oh, he's not in the next room playing. He's not at all. Uh, his one day off and he's literally five feet away playing, filming. Playing, uh, not filming, playing. Playing 40K with John. His, his also his one day off. Um, great. Well, uh, we are super excited to have you guys here today. We are doing something a little unusual. We're painting Galaxy Effect. Mel's going to be painting it on her Alario. Alaria? Alario, but this is the beetle. This is the beetle that Alaria rides. Yes. Okay. Does the beetle have a name? I'm not trying to put you on the spot. Uh, maybe, but I've always just called it the, the beetle. beetle. The beetle, yeah. Um, and I'm going to be putting some Galaxy Effect on uh, my, my Mulith Vortex Beast, which I painted up earlier today. Uh, so we're super excited. It's going to be a little different than what we normally do, but we're going to get into it. Are you ready? Yes, I okay, am. Okay, guys, let's get ready. Let's get creative. Just logo. They <laughs> have Mel's first time. <laughs> okay, and here is the Vortex Beast. So what you're seeing here on, on Glam Cam is what I painted up a little earlier today. Um, this guy was super fun to paint. Um, but as you can see, he's looking a little bare. And this is like a, the perfect model to do this on because that, like it, in some ways it looks finished already, right? Um, there's like, where am I gonna do vortex effects, right? Uh, not vortex effects, excuse me, where am I gonna do galaxy effects? Well, uh, Mel, if we can cut back here, I'll show. And actually, yeah, that's perfect. Um, <clears throat> this thing goes on the Beatles. Oh, gosh, now I'm confusing my guy with yours. <laughs> this thing goes on the, the Vortex Beast's back. And it is like this weird star that just, you know, chaos star, that just sits on the back of this thing and um, is scary. So we're going to have ours be uh, kind of like these red galaxy swirls. I'm going to go through the process on this. Um, I'm going to put on Glam Cam, I'm going to put, let's put Mel's Beetle back on here. Yes, we can. Okay, so let me show you guys what we did a little bit before uh, the stream started. So what we did is we, we identified some areas where Mel wants to have galaxy effect. Mel, you want to talk us through like any of these choices? Yeah, so um, this I'll, is my... I'll, I'll be your pointer. Great, this is my Beetle. So first I wanted, he has a fabulous booty. So we're uh, putting a little galaxy on that right booty. Um, and that, I originally was debating the bottom, but we decided to go on top. And then to balance it out... Well, hold on, let's be clear. <laughs> There's a reason we're not gonna do the bottom, and it's because the bottom looks amazing. You did this like beautiful metallic, uh, I mean, it just looks like a beetle. It looks so cool. Unfortunately, it's the bottom of the model, so it's not <laughs> gonna get a lot of views, but it looks amazing. Um, okay, I'm sorry, I cut you off. So no where else is Galaxy happening? Yeah, so Zach had an excellent idea to balance out the booty. We would do the uh, antlers? Horns? Yeah, I don't um, know what beetles, I think beetles call them horns. Horns, the horns. And so we kind of went with this um, asymmetrical way of doing the main right horn. Uh, is that the right? Or the right horn there and then balance it there. Yeah, so here he's going to have it kind of closer to his head here up a little bit more and then there's also some down on the bottom on the bottom horn. This beetle looks amazing by the way um, so far. I'm loving I'm loving how it's coming out. You were kind of sad when I came in and I was like hey let's paint this model and you're like it's done. And I was like no. <laughs> yeah um, oh there we go focus. The mutilith uh, vortex piece was like weird to focus on. Um, so that's that's it. We're gonna kind of jump in and do some uh, do this. Now, Mel and I did do a little bit of Galaxy Effect uh, yesterday. We'll show you some of the results of that a little later in the stream. Um, and you'll be able to see also, um, well, where it's hidden. It's not that hidden, right? Maybe. It's like the sword for Hobby Titans. Yeah. It, <laughs> um, okay. Before we do it, I do see that we did get a super chat. Let's yeah. read that just so we don't, awesome. just so we don't lose it. Um, Thank you, Nurgle's Chosen Son. Grandfather's Blessings Titans. Uh, just posted a pic of my white squig hog but it looks uh, chalky, 
Chalky? I think Chon- you meant to say chonky. Chonky. Um, I hope so. If not, I Or, or chalky, that. yeah. Um, he goes on to say, can I get tips for painting with whites? Oh, it's definitely chalky. Yeah, it might be. that's why I was thinking. Um, currently using Citadel paints. Okay, we'll get to that in a second. Let's get underway. Um, now, uh, yeah, Mel, just have fun. With yeah, that. yeah. No. Whatever, whatever views you want. Okay. Uh, <laughs> Mel, this is Mel's first time producing a Hobby Titans. Yeah, so this is my first time with this stream deck, and it's very dis- not similar to our other stream no. deck. So, but it still has Bur- Bridger's like flavor of chaos. Bridger and Brett are similar similar men in many ways, and the stream deck bears that out. Yeah, it's layout. Okay. Um, Mel, I think, is doing sort of like purple-blue galaxy mm-hmm. effects. Uh, I'm going to actually be doing a little bit more red. Uh, if you guys look up uh, the Horsehead Nebula, that's sort of what mine is kind of based My off apologies. of. apologies. Oh, that's okay. One of the things that we did, Mel and I did on our models before we started here today, we did use uh, Vallejo Surface Primer. Uh, this is the primer we always use here on the stream. And we also used this color right here called, it, it is a Reaper paint and it's called Nightshade Purple. Mm -hmm. Uh, As Mel was painting this, she was like, wait, how can I tell where the paint's going? Because it is like almost black. Yeah, it's pretty much black. And for a while, I didn't, wasn't actually painting um, because the airbrush was clogged, but I was like, I guess this is how this goes. Yeah, it it is quite black. If you want to do a little top down, Mel, I'll kind of show the the difference here in these two. Um, Let's do a zoom on on me, so. That's, That's the most zoomed. Yeah, you can see here, um, these two are, are pretty similar in color, uh, and you're going to really kind of get to see how they look. You know, if I, if I draw them out with my finger a little bit better, you can kind of see, maybe not, I don't know. Anyway, I can't see a difference at all. <laughs> this, is, this is a little more stark to me, and this is a little more muted to me. Now, that said, I am, um, that said, I am here uh, right in front of these. You guys are seeing them through a camera and our lighting and stuff, so they, they might look very similar to you. Um, but we did this first, this is, this is our primer, and then we did this second, and this is the nightshade purple. And we, again, we do that just to give it like a little bit of character beyond just being like straight black, like very stark black. Okay, you're starting with blue. I am. Okay. I'm starting with red. Um, I'm going to do, one of the things I like to suggest with Galaxy Effect, um, I kind of have two main avenues I take. One is blue and purple, the other is red and purple. But you can mix all three. You can also do things with green and orange. Um, the, the path we travel here today as we go through the, gal- uh, the galaxy effect, um, you could supplement it with like really any color and we'll, we'll kind of talk through that as we, as we go. What Mel and I are gonna start off though is with combinations of, uh, I, I'm gonna do red and purple. Are you gonna do blue and pr- some purple? Or are you gonna, yeah, blue okay. and purple. And then, uh, with some pink. Then the, yeah, then the last step we have is we have two what I could kind of call offshoot colors. Uh, one is pink. It goes with either blue or red scheme, and the other is turquoise. It also goes with either the blue or red scheme. So um, I'm going to be using, uh, I'm, I'm going to be, I think, doing red and turquoise, which I think is like the opposite of kind of what you're doing. Yes. Yeah. yes. So it should work out great. You guys can see two totally different looks. Okay, let's get started. By yes. the way, as everybody probably is aware, this is an airbrush heavy episode. Yes. <laughs> yeah. um, much to my chagrin, because I am not an airbrush painter, which is so, if you ever wanted to see what a train wreck looks like, let's do this. Um, uh, which is funny, given that Adrian is a full airbrush painter. Okay, yeah, and I just uh, powered up my airbrush to see that nothing is happening. And oh, Mel. And I just pulled it off. I see what's happening. Oh, this am happens. I sitting here? Yeah, it's so funny. This, you, uh, you and Brett, like always, it just always happens. It's so. It's so weird. Brett, you'll be happy to know if you're at home watching, Mel was sitting on my airbrush hose. Eh, it happens. <laughs> okay, you ready? Yes, I am. Okay, so I'm going to start with a super dark red, uh, and Mel's going to start with a super dark blue. Okay. Yeah, you can just go straight down the line here. Um, mine. I'm going to go over my shoulder to show off this paint. Yeah. So this is um, from... This is from Reaper Paints, right? Yep. So we were super lucky and got all of these Reaper Paints, which is great for this because you need pretty much every shade of blue. And this is (laughs) Ritter Lick Blue, which is an interesting name. It is an interesting name. I have no idea what that means. Um, Meanwhile, I'm going to be using a color called Red Brick. Now, one of the things I'll do kind of off to the side here as I'm working is I'm going to actually, and I'd recommend anyone do this. I'll even recommend it to Mel. Um, I'm going to be kind of 
checking how my look is going off the side on a sheet of paper here. Um, so it's, it's not a bad idea to do that as you're doing galaxy effect. Okay, great. Mel, if we could just do the shoulder zoom here on me. Um, I'll show the sort of look that we're going for. Um, first, in our early stages, guys, there's not a lot of things you can do to mess up. So um, feel free to not stress too much about it. It's not till we get to some of the later stages where there's going to be a problem um, if, if we make a mistake. And even then, we're, we're just going to go back and erase things. So the first thing I'm going to do with, the, with my very dark red is I'm going to just start putting some, some red down. And I'm kind of doing swirls. I'm not too worried about where it's going. I do like to sort of think as far as like paths and um, not just like dots, but rather you can see like I, I started here and I went up this spike. I started here and went up this spike. Um, think of it as stuff that's wrapping around if you've got a three-dimensional space. Um, now, Nurgle's Chosen had a question about painting whites. Yes. Um, so while I do this, let's let's... Let's talk about that a little bit. Do you want to switch back to front? Or do you sure, want to yeah, it's, it's, it's really, once, they, once they've got it, we're good. Um, so uh, painting whites um, can, can be super hard, but uh, the, the big thing I first will always recommend with whites is that you use an airbrush, if you are airbrushing. Um, people don't like to hear that if they're not airbrushing, so um, we, can t we can talk about that as well in a second. Um, I can, I can talk about white non-airbrush. Okay, good, good. Uh, yeah. Um, if, if you are airbrushing, then white becomes, um, honestly, in my opinion, significantly easier. Um, as far as, I mean, honestly, I, I will frequently airbrush white over top of, um, almost over top of black I've done, but typically I like to build it up over gray. These same principles are, I mean, these same principles hold true for, for brushing without an airbrush, it, it, white doesn't love going over top of super dark colors. Um, so frequently you have, you have to build up. Um, actually on my Vortex Beast, uh, Mel, if we can hit glam cam again yes, real quick. Um, I, I don't know how well you guys will be able to see it, but the skulls down at the bottom, uh, they, their final coat was white. That was like a medium brown followed by like a dark tan and then white. Also, his little teeth on his tentacles there, um, they're built up from brown as well. So when I do, and Mel has, has uh, will give you some other thoughts on this, I'm sure, but when I do white, either by brush or by airbrush, I always build up from something, personally. Um, if I want, and, and I kind of think like, is the end result supposed to be warm, cool, or neutral? So if it's warm, I build up from browns and ivories. If it's cool, I usually build up from like dark blues or maybe dark purples. And if it's um, if it's neutral, maybe grays. Uh, I, I don't, Mel. What do you? How do you do? Yeah. So that actually leads kind of right into my point of um, the key to white is not white. Um, so what I yeah. find is when you're painting white and it gets chalky, it's because to get a really nice white, you go really thick. So I actually yeah. draw, I use airbrush paint, but with a paintbrush to do white because it's really thin. Mm -hmm. And then I either, if it's a cool tone, I'm gonna wash with a light gray. If it's, if I want a really crisp white, I'll actually wash with a blue. Because oh, yeah. it makes it really crisp and pearly. And then I'll highlight with even like, a, a, then I highlight with the white again. And I find um, to do edge highlights, it's much easier to do it when you have an airbrush paint. Yeah. And then, yeah, if you wanna do teeth, you actually gotta think of browns and yellows. Um, so I find that you don't need Which to is gross, brush. kind of. Yeah, right? it's really gross. Adrian does it all the time on his stuff. He's like, yeah, we're just going to wash this with brown. I'm like, that's horrific. Um, <laughs> but you don't really need bright blue teeth. I mean, uh, bright, yeah, bright blue teeth. So that's what I find. And if you're trying to even go for, like, a pearly white, you can get pearl paint. And that will come out um, better. But, again, thinned paints is the way to go with white. Yeah, and, and you guys know um, what Mel's saying um, is we, I, you guys know that I use... I, o I pretty much only use airbrush paint, even to paint with any color by brush. So, <laughs> you're, oh, you're, you're a galaxy now, oh, yeah, that's okay. Okay, um, and then I can clean my airbrush, right? Yeah, yeah, um, okay. So, I, uh, as we're giving this answer, um, I went ahead and, this one, as we're, as we're doing this, I went ahead and added the next color, which is purple. Yeah, uh, yeah. awesome, thank you. So. You guys, these are super dark right now, right? All these are doing is changing our black into like not quite black, right? But um, it's like a slightly purple tinted black and a slightly red tinted black. 
So um, that's how we want to start. That the, Those are like the outer recesses, or the outer reaches, I guess is a better term, <laughs> of, of where the light is hitting in, in our galaxy view here. Um, Matt, I, uh, thank you, Matt Baker. See your so Matt was on stream yesterday. Yeah. And Matt had an interview, and it looks like it went... Oh, cool. Awesome. Uh, he, Matt Baker says, uh, Hey, guys, just want to express my uh, genuine gratitude to Mel and the community for their support. Thank you, Mel. Uh, my interview went great. Second interview next week. Zach, Dex will have a question for you later. Oh, okay. Cool. I'm looking forward to it. That's awesome. I'm so glad that went, that went well for you. Um, interviews are scary. Interviews are scary. Yeah. Did I miss one? I've, oh, we've missed a couple. Okay. Oh, my gosh. We've got the... Yeah, so uh, thank you, Willow, and hi, Willow, and I need to get Painting Sisters soon, so help me. Uh, <laughs> extremely excited for the stream. If you had to describe Bridger as a flavor of ice cream, what would you pick? I'm learning something like, I'm leaning to something like dark chocolate mousse or something zany like moon mist. What's moon mist? I have no idea. I like it, though, but uh, I feel like you would be like, like root beer float. Like yeah. Any type of soda e, I'm already way behind you. But That's any okay. Any type of soda e type of um, ice cream that just like is wrong. Yeah, I feel like um, Bridger. Yeah, like he he likes when it comes to food, he likes simple things. I think he he's simple not a pick, Americana. He, he, but he's not a picky eater no. by any means. So. Um, I, I don't know. That's a great question. I, I feel, um, you know, he recently, he got a, uh, for me, he got the, one of those like polar, polar pizza things. Oh. Uh, here, we were here on Sunday doing some work and he found out my birthday was coming up. So he got that and he got mint chocolate chip. So Willow, I, I don't know. Um, I like Mel's idea that he would be like a, um, he would be like something Maybe like a, yeah, like if a soda could right, be like, like seven a, up ice cream or is something. Is that is weird. that a thing? I feel like it must be. Yeah. Like some monstrosity. Um. Oh my gosh. That's a great well, question, that's an though. Excellent question, Will. And now I'm gonna pose it to him when I see him. Too. Yeah. What flavor ice cream are you, Bridger? Thank you, Tyler. Uh, where can I find the rubric painting guide you mentioned on stream? Want to do it with pearly gates, mother load, and bronze craft pen? Any advice? Yeah, Tyler, so I will say I have, uh, we, we are kind of going back right now, Brett and I, and adding a lot of stuff um, to old streams, kind of re-editing some old streams, the ends, the, like clipping them a little bit better. Um, so we, we are working on those. Um, the, in the meantime, unfortunately, you'll just have to watch a bunch of it and skip around. Um, but we, we are trying to get those up ASAP as possible, as we like to say around here. So um, hang, please hang in there. Or um, if you're if you're in the Discord, yeah. um, honestly hit me up there, and I can I can maybe I can just send it to you real quick. Um, I do have a Google Doc that kind of outlines it a little bit. Um, as far as those colors, Pearly Gates and Motherload, I love uh, these are Turbo Door colors. For those of you who aren't familiar that um, Tyler's talking about here, I really love uh, Pearly Gates. It's it's maybe like the um, Ah, it's such a weird color to describe. It's almost a silver. It's like, it's maybe the lightest silver on the market, but also um, maybe maybe the most prismatic um, because it's, it's, it's turbo dork. So it has a lot, of, um, a lot of stuff added into it. Now there is another one they have that has even more like blue, red, and um, blue and red flakes that I can't remember its name. If Tyler, if you remember, uh, let us know. Um, E either way, so w w if you're doing kind of like these silver marines, um, the, the bronze craftwork pen is going to be is going to be important for your sanity um, to help you get through the project. The craftwork pen I use doesn't have a bronze one, the, the Baoki craftwork pens, um, but you can probably find one out there that does. If you end up using something like a Sharpie, though, just be careful because they, they don't stick very well. A trick with Sharpie, and I remember this from my sorority days, yeah. is when you put Sharpie on, you want to put uh, clear, literally, actually I have it, clear yep. nail polish over it. 
Yeah. Because then it seals it in so the Sharpie doesn't rip off our chip over time. And this is what we did with my rubrics, even with the Baoki Craftwork pen. After we put that on, we varnish it. So Tyler, you're, if you're going to use um, a Craftwork pen, you're going you're gonna to have like a mid varnish step. Um, the, otherwise, the, the, the color choices are cool. I, I guess I'd be interested to hear if there's like a, um, your colors so far are very like a lot of neutrals. I'm wondering, uh, I, I'm guessing you're also still doing blue. Um, let it, maybe add us in chat and we'll, we'll see. Um, otherwise though, I, I like it. And sorry that that thing's not up. Hit me up on Discord, I'll, I'll send it to you. Um, since it might take me a little, a couple weeks to get up. How's it going, Mel? I think. Uh, oh, that's looking me, amazing. You tell me. Here, so, you, I can so do my little. Yeah, let's see what you're uh, up to. I am top producer. Okay, and can I zoom on me, or is this? You can't, but we can put it here. Yeah. Okay. I'm gonna and hand then, it over. Okay. So, and, and this, this is great. I'll show you both what Mel and I've been up to as we've been chatting with you guys. Um, so for me, I went ahead and put my first purple down. So you'll notice the dark purple, and then that was. Uh, Imperial purple, okay. I started with my dark red, which is, where did it go? Oh, here it is, red brick. And then I added ruby red, and that's why the red is popping out a little bit more than the purple. So where Mel is at, she's going, and she's doing it a different way, and this way it works just as well. Oh, okay. it's, no, no, you're, no, no, you're fine. Um, it, it's two different ways to do it. One is to kind of go back and forth between the red, and like in your case, the purple and the, the blue, the other is to do all one color and then all the other. Um, I, the only thing I will say, Mel, your okay. last coat, you might want to like do the blue and then do do the final blue and then okay. the final purple near each other. Okay, so I should have been going back and forth between No, 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 colors. you really don't have to. Well, what, what should those at home do? E either one, I, I promise, I promise. Like uh, staying flexible, either one is okay. Just your final like layer, your final blue, your final red. Because they're the brightest. Yeah. Have them interact with each other because they are really meant to be kind of like playing with each other in, in, okay. in your field of vision. Okay, so what she has done after her written, uh, written lick, written lick blue. Not not a super great, not a super compelling name. You already did brilliant blue. Yes. And now you just did sapphire. Yes, I did. Yeah. I did all the blues. So she's done all the blues. Um, you can see it's still not quite that bright. And that's okay, because we've got a few other tricks that are gonna make this look brighter. One, pinks are gonna happen. Uh, and two, there will also will be purple, I think, right? Are you gonna do purple, Mel? Yes, or? yes, okay. yes. And then, it's okay, you wouldn't have to though. Both Mel and I are doing the purple, the purple blue in her case, the purple red in my case, but you wouldn't have to do that. Oh, here's the purple you're looking for, by uh, the way. I mean, I, I, yes. I was hiding that. That's the yes. darkest purple anyway. Perfect. And then, Finally, um, we will have uh, a, a start. We're going to do some star blasts. We're going to get blasted. Yeah, and after Mel gets her, uh, at, let's say to you get your second purple one, okay, we'll get blasted. that would be a good time to do the first blast. Say yeah. it. So, our, our first star blasting. We're going to get blasted. Thank you, Ork Zach. Uh, he says, good wog, Titans. Uh, good wog, Ork Zach. Um, happy to catch the stream live and seeing Mel on show. How would you rank the Titans in order of most time spent hobbying each week? I've spent 60 hours uh, in a little under two weeks. Okay, so how often do the rest of us hobby? That is an excellent question. So I think Zach probably now hobbies more than Adrian. It probably goes me than Adrian. Yeah, um, but if Adrian is like having to rush out an army, for like a stream or a tournament, then possibly Adrian. I have seen Adrian do um, complete all-nighters to get an army out. Which um, is not something I would ever do. Yeah, then <laughs> I would probably go Brian. Brian does do a lot of hobbying, even though he does also get a lot of armies commissioned because he just has a lot of miniatures. Yeah. I have no idea about John. John, zero, John is zero? At, at the okay. bottom. So. John and Bridger and and then are tied for last. So that puts probably, I mean, Brett probably hobbies more than me. me maybe me and Brett are kind of like fighting for for fourth. Yeah, Brett's had a super busy summer. He's had so many things going on in his life. But normally he, he does hobby a lot. So I, I, would, I, would, I would put him probably probably in the upper mid tier. Um, I think because of what, what, what the situation at the Titan Studio is, it's, it's me and Adrian are just doing an insane amount. 
most weeks. Um, I don't know that I could ever feel like I would say I, which one of us is doing more. It, no. it varies probably. It probably varies week to week. But it, For our sanity as yeah, well. But yeah. I have seen, I mean, it's funny because Adrian will be like working and he's like, you know what? I'm done with work for the night. And I will literally watch him take a miniature, put it to the side, pick up another miniature with a smile on his face yeah. and keep going. I, I do the same thing. Um, w one of the things, uh, and, and Ork, Zach, you, you're doing a lot of, of painting these days, which is great. Um, one of the things like we always kind of joke about um, is uh, that if you play video games, then you probably hobby less than a lot of people. Um, so I, does Adrian play video games? Adrian does play video games. So yeah, he must not sleep. That is the actual answer. He doesn't sleep. Um, literally, I went to sleep last night to like, he was playing magic on the iPad next to us. And I was just like listening to magic as I lulled into slumberland. Oh my God. I um, love sleeping and I don't care for video games. And my only, my only other hobby really otherwise is um, like cooking, which has to happen anyway. So for the most part, if I'm not like, if I'm not, I'm kind of like Adrian, if I'm not like I'll stop working so I can like work on like some AOS model for my Adrian can't sit still and I can't I, can't. I don't either I can't either um, but my my hobby thing is if it's in front of me I'll do it but the moment it becomes work to like get it I won't do mm. it and I also refuse to finish a project I see um, like this beetle has been repainted numerous times and has never been finished um, it's just not, I just don't finish them. I'm just, by the time I'm done, I want to repaint them. So I enjoy the painting part. Well, so there was a debate in chat, and we need to get you to weigh in on this, Zach. Okay. What is your stance on the cupcake, and how do you eat a cupcake? Yeah. This matters. Okay. Okay. Um, so the correct way to eat a cupcake, for everyone's information, is you turn it into a little sandwich. You, you you rip off the bottom, you put on top the frosting, and you nom noms it. Oh, that's um, cool. Yes, exactly. That is the correct way to eat a cupcake because then you get perfect frosting to uh, You're like, yeah. Ratio. Yeah, that's interesting. Um, I don't, ha that's not how I do it. Um, I, I'd be open to trying it that that's way. That's how you will do it from now on though, correct? Um, I'm trying to. I'm trying to like imagine me getting a cupcake, getting opening a cupcake, up. and you just kind of. Rrr. Yeah, I think I'm okay. Like I'm. I'm honestly really okay. Like eating. Oh yeah, that's the second purple. Yes. Yeah, sorry. I'm honest. This is looking great. Is it? Yeah. Okay, so I can tell you why I think Zach's way is better. Um, so I'm gonna zoom in on the shoulder for Zach. So what happened when I put the dark purple on is that the bright purple became muted, and that. Totally oh, the bright blue. Bright blue. That's what yeah, I mean. Yeah. And so, yeah, it would make sense if I went back and forth. You, you'll have to, yeah. like, that's what I'm saying. Um, I didn't realize you had gone to the top blue, um, but you'll, you'll want to, like, maybe kind of yeah. play around with those two a lot. Also, guys, um, so you guys at home are aware, um, we're going to, we're going to build up color, and then the last kind of component of this is, is really interesting, actually, which is we're going to jump back and forth with black and white to, like, shade and, and um, highlight things, and it's really weird. Um, okay, I'm gonna let Mel do her last purple, and while she's doing Mel, keep this view. Okay. Because I'm gonna show off a little star blasting. Oh, you're gonna get blasted? Yeah. Eventually he's gonna say it. This is the best part of doing Galaxy. So we take a toothbrush, an old toothbrush. If you use a toothbrush to clean miniatures or something like that, d d uh, and it's got any coloration in it, don't, don't use it. Make sure it's like a freshly new old toothbrush. Hey, wait, a freshly old New, no, a... A not a clean old like toothbrush. Like, you just got done brushing your teeth with this. And you're like, okay, now it's becoming a hobby brush. Or give it a really deep cleaning. Um, that's what I actually do with this one. You're going to take a, a nice white. I, I love my Minotaur Skull white, a neutral white. You could do a cool white if you want it. You're going to saturate the brush, almost like you're brushing your teeth with this paint. Then you're going you're gonna to do the, the flicking trick here. Now, as you do it, start off by giving it some tests. And kind of seeing what you want, um, you can see I'm, I'm testing off to the side here. Uh, make sure you have like a good a good look, a good flow. Are you ready to start? No, this is that clogged is clogged, a little bit. Okay, so I'm gonna steal yours. While yeah, you're go ahead. Blasted. Okay, so here we go. Okay, now if you get a little cluster, you can see how you can get clusters by like moving in a little bit. 
I actually want some clusters here on this thing, since this is like a central point on the on this uh, this thing that the, the Vortex Beast has. And as you pull away, you'll get a little more wider distribution of the stars. We're gonna do this a couple times yet again, guys. And we're gonna cover these this layer of stars with a few more layers of color. So we build depth this way um, by kind of having the stars, well, you know, look like they're further apart from each other. Um, okay, so this toothbrush I'm gonna set off to the side here. Uh, let's have a look at this guy. And while you're fixing my problems, thank you, Broken Chef. Uh, proper cupcake eating hot take from Zach. Also, hello. Oh, hi, bro. Hi, Broken Chef. Hi, I was looking through your Instagram last night. That sounds really creepy, but Broken Chef uh, has recently started doing commission painting and has some really, really cool stuff on his Instagram. Mainly, I was looking at the Sylvaneth because your Sylvaneth are actually painted, which is like, you know, very shocking to me. Yeah, um, I don't think my, my cupcake eating take was that hot of a thing. There's I mean, a huge debate. Me and Willow, I believe, are on team sandwich cupcake. And then Melody believes that's desecration. If I'm getting that right, let me know. <laughs> um, but I have very strong opinions. And it is um, pretty much birthday month in the Titan studio. Oh, it is. Yeah, we're all Adrian, like Adrian, me, you. Wasn't it Meg, too? Did Meg have Meg birthday? had her birthday. Yeah, so I think hers is the day before Adrian's. The 7th? Yeah. Yep. And then, so we have, there's been lots of cake in the studio. Yeah. Oops, which is, which has been a lot of fun. Um, yeah, I, I don't know that I have a, a um, I, I, I don't want to go down, uh, Broken Chef as being somebody who has a hot take on this because I, um, I don't really care how to, how, I, I think I would eat a cupcake anyway. Um, yeah, I mean, like, I'm not, if someone was like, here, you can either eat this cupcake you can either way. You can either eat this cupcake my way. I would or, eat the cupcake. Yeah. I just, I just, like, I grew up eating cupcakes that way, and I remember the first time I saw someone just, like, monstrously bite into it, I was like, you heathen. I feel like, I feel like that's how, like, on TV, I, I've never seen anyone do it your way. I mean. Honestly. I, I'm not saying no, I don't love you're it. you're not wrong, probably. Okay, I think I am at the the blasted stage. Okay, once awesome. I clean this. Was it clogged? Did I not clean it well enough? What uh, happened? I don't know. Let's teach me some things. I think it was. I think it was. Oh, everything's fine. It's mostly okay. Oh yeah, do you need to dump? Into uh, probably. The... I just. I just. You know, I'm a mess. Yeah, Mel was using the Sotar. The Sotar does have like a little bit. These are both new airbrushes to her, right? Yeah. So I'm used to uh, the airbrush we have at home, and I'll be honest, I'm used to. Seeing that I could do something like really fast with an airbrush, and then deciding to do it the hard way with a with a paintbrush. Mm, I see. Um, yeah, the 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 Sotar actually has a feel. I think a lot of people just feel that the Sotar actually has like a better f beginner like feel in your hand. Mm. Um, I know when Brian came and had not used either of my two airbrushes before, he he like gravitate towards this one. Uh, the problem is, unfortunately, it's a little finicky. Um, you gotta you gotta keep on top of it as far as cleaning goes. Are you okay so, with this one? This one. You want to keep using? It? Okay. Yeah. I'm a little nervous for when we have to do like the very fine hmm. detail. But well, actually, that's that's kind of like that's almost like right now because we're at the high colors. So okay. you, go ahead. You should use this okay. one. Okay. I need to do. I need to get blast. <laughs> oh yeah, she needs to get blasted. So. Uh, okay. Awesome. Um, so I just just doing it. Okay. Just do it. Can you show exactly how you're flicking that toothbrush, Zach? It was kind of obscured. Oh. Oh yeah, I'll do. I'll do it again. Yeah. We're, we're gonna have another. We're gonna have another. Actually, two more rounds of it. So. Beautiful improving and eating experience at once. <laughs> I agree, Will. Um, okay, so now for me, as Mel as Mel does her blasting, um, I'm gonna actually get on to the final red, and the final. Uh, oh no, I'm gonna. Sorry, I'm gonna do one thing before that. Uh, I'm gonna incorporate a little bit of turquoise in the mine. So I'm gonna use the base turquoise now. Now, uh, if you're thinking, oh, is this exact? Is he doing, so after the stars, I add the, the offshoot color. Yeah, you could, but it doesn't have to be exact. And that, that's how I do it. So I put two, two reds down, two purples down, and then uh, I do a star blast. And now I'm gonna go and add a little bit of turquoise into a few, into a few locations. Um, just to kind of have like a, a third color, but not much of this color, honestly. Okay, so I made a huge mess, but this looks super cool. Can I use this towel to wipe my hands? Of course, that's what, yeah. Okay, so I'm gonna... <clears throat> okay, I'm gonna... Oh, that looks this, great! Wait, I'm gonna glam... I'm, 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 I'm yeah, glam cam. I'm gonna glam cam it. So we're gonna move this guy. 
and put the beetle booty. So that's Oops. where we're at with the first layer. Um, I will note that I will definitely have to do cleanup on the rest of the model, given that the star blast went everywhere. Oh no, um, I'm so sorry. I should have told you there's a way to clean that, and I didn't hope that you set that up with you. How well, do we clean it? Yeah. So what we're what we're gonna do next time? We have a clean cup of water. I totally uh, spaced on that, Mel. We have a clean cup of water and we have some Q-tips. Oh, I, think, I mean, I just did it, so I yeah, maybe, it right now. maybe. I believe in myself. <coughs> Excuse me, guys. Um, so yeah, if you are doing something where you don't want a mask and you're gonna be uh, doing the star blast kind of everywhere, then make sure you have a Q-tip and some water. Um, is, it, is it coming off? Kind of. <coughs> okay, I mean, yeah. It just tells me that I get to repaint it, which is kind of my jam. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> well, uh, there's another way we can get the stuff that's dried. We can actually probably carefully also take off with a like a hobby tool. Okay. Um, so we'll, we yeah. we can look at that. But one of the things you guys were noticing um, how Mel's how great Mel's looked, you could if you're being lazy, which you should never be lazy during Galaxy Effect because it's just fun. Um, it's it's not hard. It's just fun. You just make yeah. it. But if you're being lazy or you're on a timer, I could be done. She could stop here. It's not particularly vivid yet. It's going to get way more like bright and like in your face. But it 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 does look like a galaxy. Right? Yeah. I'm impressed. Yeah. Um. So I'm super done. Okay. So here's the problem. I was gonna do a whole bioluminescent Sylvaneth army, mm -hmm. but looking at this, what if I did a whole Galaxy Sylvaneth army. I mean, I'm not going to tell you no. I well, and again, this lets me <laughs> paint the army again. Adrian's going to be. Adrian, luckily, should hopefully isn't over here because he's been like 3D printing mushrooms for me for like weeks because I was going to have these like, I could have galaxy mushrooms already. Yeah, yeah, totally. I'm ready. I'm ready. Chat, what do we think? Yeah, we could we could do a vote. Should Mel have? I have no idea how to set up a poll. No, like it's this. okay. We, uh, we'll, we'll, I mean, like in Discord at some point. <laughs> should, should Mel have uh, 3D or not 3D prints? Excuse me. Should Mel have bioluminescent Sylvaneth or Galaxy Sylvaneth? Yeah, both are pretty cool though. Honestly, I mean, I'm just loving this technique, and it's kind of my jam. It's pretty easy. Um, and it looks so cool. Yeah. And I'm like clearly stuck in 2010, where like Galaxy was all the rage. Yes, Mel. I want to do the same with the uh, bioluminescence thing. Yeah, so I'm trying, I will post photos of my bioluminescence. It's more difficult than I thought it would be. Mm. Um, it is, it's, uh, you wanna do a bioluminescence? You can learn how to do bioluminescence and then teach me so I can do my own. Oh my gosh. Broken Chef's right, yeah, it would distract from the beetle, but it, this looks so cool. Yeah, but that's yeah. looking awesome. Okay, so how are you feeling? Where are you at? I um, I don't know what the next step is. Okay. Oh, oh do I need so to do bright blues now? Yeah, bright, bright blues the, the bright and... bright blue and the bright purple, yep, right? Yep, Perfect. Yep. Okay. Um, awesome. While well, you do the bright blue, I'm going to do the bright purple. Great. So, what are we crafting in chat? Yeah, um, and also, why don't we... Let's, let's, should we look at some fan stuff? Yes, yes, yeah. let's do that. Fan stuff, right? Yeah, um, while we look at it, uh, I'll be uh, adding the, just so you guys know, I'm gonna be adding, um, I just did the brightest red, and now I'm gonna be doing the brightest pur uh, purple, which is like a lavender type color, but let's take a look. So uh, we'll cycle through this a few times so we make sure to talk about everything. This caught my eye because I love Tyranids. And it was just amazing. Uh, these guys, crazy. This is your army. Ooh, what? Eden F. Oh my yeah. god, they look professional, right? Yeah, they, they look, look great. Like, that looks like box art. I was so amazed. Yeah, they they are so vivid. Um, That's cool. This is very cool. Uh, this guy had a lot of pictures of this. If you are on the Discord, definitely check this out in the train section. Uh, same with this night. There were so many pictures of this oh, night. It's sometimes the hard to. Nights are so much fun. Yeah, this one was was really great. Oh, this was the their assassins. Yeah, our TV's a little dark, but um, these these looked these look really good. Um, oh, this guy did like this mirror. Oh wow! This, Look at that. The that's the red. red. Yeah, that's really good. That's airbrush. I'm By the way, this this unit awesome place to do galaxy effect in that mirror. Yes, I think Adrian did kind of something similar. Not that that didn't look good, but um, it, because it looked oh, amazing. Look at that. Um, we'll get back to that one. Yeah. Come uh, nice yellow warriors here. Uh, this guy had a little tutorial that he followed and he posted about how to paint yellow like that as well. Yellow's hard. Oh, this is the first one. Look how amazing that looks. Yeah, this one looks great. Um, I, 
Yeah, I, I, I went through the terrain uh, section today a little bit more than I normally do, and I, there were some real gems in there. Um, it looked like this week people like the, in the Titans community had decided that it was like terrain week it was to work. Hobby week. Yeah. Um, oh, little, I still love the Eden Eth. The Eden Eth are amazing, yeah. That, and also, um, <clears throat> for what's worth, we get a lot of people who take uh, great pictures, and some people uh, don't take as good of pictures as their models <laughs> are uh, demanding. And it can be hard to take good pictures, but those Eden Eth pictures are also very good. The, yeah, the, the, the key to a good picture is I actually think a black background hides, hides many a sin. Um, that's why a lot of times you'll see like, like commission painters put back backgrounds. It's 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 a scale. Yeah, um, I mean, uh, just having a good, having good equipment. Honestly, I, I'm, I think it looks like a full display piece. Look this is pretty sword. cool. And his uh, he's standing on like a marble effect base, which is also really awesome. Yeah, very well done. Lots of really well done stuff um, today, guys. As always, uh, very impressed. <laughs> Brett's in the studio watching. Um, I know he's probably super blown away by um, some of these terrain pieces as well. The um, the one, this one's great, but the this this other one is the one I was about to address. The the tower. Um, this guy did a few different ones. Um, there they are again. Oh, yeah, they're so beautiful. Like I know they're so great. Um, uh, but I, I would definitely say that this tower, like he did a few different pictures of yeah. and a few of these and. Really cool stuff. I think this is all 3D printed, if I'm, if I have it correct. Um, well, thanks guys so awesome. much. Um, reminder: we we want to see your stuff. So yeah, Mel, if you just yeah the overlay one there, cool. Yeah, there it is. Um, just a reminder of how how to, how to help us uh, see your stuff, which is post it in the Titans Discord. Um, if you're not on the Tabletop Titans Discord. Uh, we just call it the Titans Discord, really, um, because we share that space with them. And if you're not on it, join it. It's uh, at some point it was the biggest 40k Discord. Really? Um, at I some point. Then it would still be. Yeah, I don't know. If that's true Where, or not. Which one is the? Are you of the brightest purple? Oh yeah. Okay. Sorry, Mel. There you go. Um, Bye, broken chat. So join uh, join the Discord. Post your stuff in the channel that makes sense. So if it's terrain, post in terrain. If it's 3D printed, post in either terrain or 3D print. Wherever wherever it makes sense. Um, if it's totally finished and you want a little bit of feedback, there's a channel for that as well. Um, and then uh, if you want a little bit of a shout out, nobody did this this week, but normally people do. Oh, no, there was one person who did, Wother, and I even remember his name. Uh, if you want a little bit of a shout out, use some kind of program to like just put your name, whether whatever it is, like your Instagram, um, Broken Chef. When you post some stuff up, I know you probably just left, but... Uh, put your Instagram on there um, so we can see. Um, yeah, guys, give us some kind of indication of who you are. Because, uh, you know, people watch it, so be cool. Especially if you are a commission painter or something. Yeah, yeah. awesome. Um, I see we had another super chat. Yes, can we, let's scroll just a, Thanks, Mel. Um, Mel's producing, and it's kind of, because you actually are like, it's a little different than tabletop, because you actually you actually do stuff, too. Yeah, and like, I'm <laughs> definitely behind you. That's okay, that's totally okay. Uh, Ryan Buck, thank you so much. He asks, hey Tines, love the new Eldar board. Was wondering how would you go about making bases to match that board for minis, for example, for Harlequins? Uh, that's a great question, Ryan. Um, they do uh, make, AK makes water effect, um, water effect bases. And uh, we, we actually had um, a, friend, a friend of uh, a bunch of us who also kind of runs the, our local uh, gaming uh, store here, uh, Game Castle. Um, our, our friend Kat made a, an Imperial Knight as a giveaway uh, at an event we had, and she did this kind of beautiful Caribbean watercolored base. So I should ask her, Ryan, but I do know that she used AK water effects. Um, and I do know that they kind of have some, some guidelines for like painting the color first, like on the base, and then, then putting the water effect um, there's a number of really interesting things you could do. So let, let me first just say, like, let's say you want to truly waterboard water effect. Um, I, I would look into also clear acrylic and you would need to find a way to be able to pour a little bit of the, like paint the base, pour a little bit of the, the acrylic, um, and have it like almost add to the plastic of the base and then have something you can pull off 
and, and not leave a residue or not get stuck there as acrylic dries. That could be compelling. Um, be a lot of work though. By contrast, uh, I think you could also kind of do like, if you didn't specifically want water effect, but you just wanted something kind of like mangrove forest, um, you you could certainly just accomplish that with the colors and rocks, right? Like moss. Yeah, and and little little uh, moss bits and and like the barbed bracken that Citadel makes. Um, so I keep stealing all the colors. And Which they, one is like, the brighter here. blue? Because I kind of want to go back. Brighter blue is sapphire. That one. Okay, yeah. so I don't need to go to. Should I go to teal yet? Uh, whenever you're ready. Yeah. I mean, I'll just keep going back and forth. Yeah, I mean, honestly, that that is kind of a lot of it. Um, so Ryan, I would also kind of just like look into like, um, <clears throat> like dark, uh, not dark, excuse me, like gray stones and then like tinting them. And we, we kind of cover tinting with an airbrush a lot. Um, tinting them with like Beale Tan Green or just like greenish blues um, as well. Uh, water effect, otherwise I'd look into AK water effect. I haven't, I've used it once, like forever ago, like, well, like when I first started hobbying. And um, it, it's finicky, I think is the word I would use, but I've seen people get awesome effects with it. So I might look into um, AK water effect stuff. Uh, and thanks Matt Baker again. Dex and I are here gluing up stealth suits tonight. He wants a reddish black for legs and arms. How do we achieve a reddish black with brushes? Well, um, there's a color that I love made by, sorry, we don't, we're not sponsored by AK, I promise, but they just sell a lot of the stuff because, um, well, the, yeah, cat, because people who work for our local game store are, are sponsored by AK. Um, AK, we, we've used this color before. Um, they make a color called Red Black, guys, um, and it's amazing. I love it. I, I wanted it the other day and it wasn't here. I was like, ah, my red black is missing. Um, they make a lot of really cool colors. I'll show you another one I love. We used this last week on the stream. Brian and I used it. Uh, it's just called greenish white. And it's just like white with the slightest tint of green. Um, so look at AK paint lines. Again, red, red black is literally a paint that they make. Um, otherwise, we almost have done what you're asking here. Uh, we, we almost did this here. So what I would say is your model is black. Now you're going to go over it with a brush. So what you want to do is, is get a very dark red. Our first red here today was um, uh, Reaper paint. It was called Brick Red. Now if you want to top down zoom, I'll show. I've shown here now uh, the, the black. That's the primer. I've shown the Nightshade Purple, which almost looks black. This is Brick Red. Okay. If we, wow. if we take Brick Red, I'm going to grab a brush real quick here. If we take Brick Red and we thin it a little bit, even just with water. Okay, and we start going over this. Red does a good job of cutting through black more than any other color. Um, this is like a known, I don't know, light thing, science thing, I don't know. Um, but we go real many thin paints, thin layers. Uh, and I don't know if that's quite the look you're, you're going for, but there's, there's kind of a reddish black now as, as we pull this across here. I might use a wet palette. I mean, I definitely would if I wasn't just demoing this real fast on uh, brown paper. Okay, something like that. Um, so that said, this brick red color, pretty nice, um, but I, I would look into like that AK color. How's it going, Mel? It's good. It's good. Um, I, oh my god, you did the turquoise. I or did no, the, no, you, no, I not did yet. The blue. Still I blue. Am, okay. I'm waiting for further instruction. What's well, uh, is it pink time? Is it turquoise time? Is it yeah? It can time? be. Uh, it can be start being pink time now. Okay. Yeah, and then after after we get our pink down, um, we're gonna do uh, a, a second splatter. Awesome. I've decided that on mine, if we want to maybe do a quick, sorry Mel, I know you just no. pulled away, another quick zoom. Uh, sure. Yeah, I've decided that um, I, I'm, I'm pretty much liking how this is coming out. The only thing I'm not liking, I'm not necessarily loving the way the teal is, is here without blue also being here. I feel like teal, it needs to be supervised a little bit by blue. Here, so, zoom in just a yeah, bit. so what I'm going to quick knock out is I'm actually gonna do Mel's scheme real quick in just a few spots on my guy. 
Uh, starting all the way back from the beginning, but I'm gonna do them pretty quick here and, and I'm gonna do them minimally. I, do, I really do want this to have a little bit more of a red purple look, not like a blue look. So I'm gonna kind of go in where, where the teal is and I'm gonna just give it a little bit of blue to, to, be, to supervise it, as I like to say. Um, especially wherever there's like purple. Okay, here we go, just around there. I know I've done red and teal before, but maybe on a flatter surface. Um, because, well, maybe now's a good time to talk about this. Mostly, when I've done Galaxy Effect before, it's been when I've done people's fingernails, yeah. right? Vincent pointed out that, did I practice on my nails? Yeah, not quite. Um, we have a little video to show you guys uh, that Mel can cue up here. Sure, yeah. Um, Mel and I actually hung out with uh, Adrian and even my, my, my uh, Meg, my wife, helped it a little bit yesterday. And we did galaxy nails on her nails. So that's what you're seeing here. We went through the same step really that she's doing right now, which is the blue purple kind of a look. Um, so we filmed a lot of this and we're actually going to have a little uh, VOD coming out here in the next week for you guys. Um, this is like a little, a little sneak peek for you though. Um, you can see all the things we did here, getting blasted, star blasted. <laughs> You um, never realize how much you hate your fingers until you like see them zoomed in on 4K. I know, and we, Mel and I were talking about this all day yesterday because um, she, she said that immediately and I was like, oh my gosh, I'm so nice to hear that because you know normally it's like Brett who's like super tall and thin and has just like very nice slender like saxophone or pianist fingers. Um, and I have like sausage fingers as well and I'm always like, oh my God, I can't stand looking at my hands. Uh, zoomed in here. But here you go, you can see we did this. Uh, there's the last blasting. And then we're, we're gonna get to this part today too, a little bit of like individual picking out a few big stars. And this is maybe, this is maybe the step that really brings it all together, right? Like high, the highlighting of a star. What is this top coat you use? I'm using a Sesh V top coat, it's a very popular one. And so um, that was, I love that little image of me like very finely putting top coat when like it's painted all around. And yeah, you yeah. see in the video, that's because when you wash your hands off, it needs to be um, covered with top coat, but it does look just fine. Me and like these chunky sausage fingers that are sprayed all over and I'm like, yes, top coat. I know. Um, I, I think your fingers look look fine, but I'm, I'm with you. I, know, I totally know what you're going through. And actually having you say that, it was like, I was like, her fingers look fine. I was like, Oh, that probably means my fingers look fine your too. Fingers do it. <laughs> it's just like a weird you're, thing you're, to see you're like, of yourself. Yeah, right. And you don't like, you never see the. I mean, there's a yeah. lot of views you don't see of yourself, but a mirror accomplishes a lot of that. We don't often look at like our hands from different angles, like forward angles. Um, so yeah, a, a little weird. But um, this is what I'll say about about the galaxy nails. I start doing this when I start airbrushing. No jokes aside, I, I literally use this to help myself get better at airbrushing along with terrain. Um, because I know a lot of people who are like, oh, uh, airbrushing is a little intimidating. Um, you're thinking like, what are some th ways to like get going? Um, one, one of the things you can do is, is terrain. We don't want to necessarily like ruin our nice new models. We're a little nervous about that, I know. Um, but also people's nails, if, if, if you've got uh, somebody in your household that likes getting their nails done, do their nails. Um, you can use, we used Reaper paints on Mel's nails. As yeah. long as you use that bottom coat, uh, we used, yeah. Uh, well, you had a different one, but th there's a few out there. Um, as long as you use a, a base coat and a, the top coat is maybe the most important. I, I think. Yeah. yeah, the top coat, because that's what kept it all on my nails when I was like vigorously washing my hands. But also, uh, Fear pointed out that my hat was so cute. And I have to say, it's kind of adorable. We were walking through Target, and Adrian was like, You need this hat. This hat is so <laughs> cute. And I was just like, no, I was like, Is this cat, this hat, my whole personality? It was just yesterday, me in the studio talking yeah. about my hat. So yeah. I was very excited. I'm ready for fall. I thought you were going to wear it today, to be honest. It's okay uh, that you didn't. But I was just like, that would, like, I don't know. Then, then you go back and see the video where I'm also wearing it. Yeah, that. it's like, like, look at this chick obsessed with her hat. Now people now people are like, is there something wrong with her hair? That she get yeah, like I a bad, yeah, if you're Adrian, like. like, like 
just shaved oh. my head. But um, is it I, coming out okay? Yeah, it is. I okay. just I think I need it. I I'm a messy airbrusher. Yeah. Um, but I was so excited, and I'm ready for fall, and I'm all about the spooky vibe, and so I'm here for it. So thank you for noticing my hat. Uh, thank you, Yelfall, uh, Yel, ye, Yelfallen, 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 Yelfallen. Uh, you know who you are. And he says, hey, Zach, any chance of us seeing a mushroom-themed board in the future? <laughs> well, I, I will say this. That's not currently an idea that I, that I have kicked around, but it is an idea, well, excuse me. It is an idea I've thought of. Um, there's a lot, there's an, I, I've brought this up on stream before. I can't remember if it was here or on Tabletop Titans when I was producing. Um, somebody was asking about mushrooms, and I will say that there's a weird amount of 3D printed mushroom stuff on Etsy. They're so cool. I, I, yeah, I think it has something to do with like people other than hobbyists wanting like to print mushrooms and paint them. Um, by hobbyists, I mean like 40K players, right? Yeah. But whenever I do searches for like terrain and like 3D printed, Trees and forests. There's all this mushroom stuff always comes up. So uh, yell fallen, ye leaf fallen. I'm just gonna say leaf fallen, like the Y silent. Why leaf fallen? Why leaf fallen? Okay, why leaf fallen? Uh, I'm I'm gonna say that the the stuff is out there. The, there's a lot of of 3D printed mushroom stuff. My big issue with it is I think it's hard to do and not make it look like it's like Alice in Wonderland. So, uh, I'd have to be careful. Well, I think what's interesting is I think you might not know because Adrian is doing a ton of mushrooms for a board that's coming in the future. Oh, good. Oh, yes, so, yes, yes. So there are there will be lots of mushrooms, and this is why they're being epically three D printed at my home. That's right. So yes, uh, widely fallen, but not from me. More so from Adrian. Um, although we were talking about that earlier today. So yes. Um, all right, I'm about to do a blast. I oh, okay. know some people had had. Um, Yes, let's zoom Yours in is looking on. really nice. The I'm, banding on the horns is looking really I'm good. I'm really yeah. excited. Okay, I'm going to zoom in for Zach so you can show how to last. Okay, it. so I, I took a clean brush. I took Minotaur Skull White. This is a thinner, neutral white. I kind of coated my brush with it. Always don't just jump right in and do it. Okay, so start by kind of seeing what things look like. Oh. Gentle and graceful, you is. I have like a whirlpool of white. Yeah, <laughs> it aims more than you think it does. So first, I'm going to do a couple kind of wide, far, far away ones, and these are going to put stars. Uh, that's too big, so I'm going to clean that up. If you get some big ones, that can be okay. We'll, we'll, we'll work with those, but that one was too big, so we do a quick cleaning up on that. Okay, uh, so this is a good start here, and then I'm going to do another on the other side. Okay, then to do, to get in and do a cluster, I just get a little closer, and, and I'm I'm doing I'm kind of slow with it. Like I, you guys can see, I'm really slowly adding to to here. Um, you have more control of it than you think. Like it, it gives an odd amount of control. Are you ready for? I am, okay. and so I will show. So we see his nice, clean, organized. Welcome to my chaos studio. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you're you're fine now. Here's the thing. Remember. With Mel, my th I'm lucky. My my guy, as you can see, is just one big thing. Mel's is mask. Right, there are parts where she doesn't want stars on this beetle. She only wants it where the galaxy is. But that's where the stars are now. I will be. The wings are easy, right? Because yeah. they're all they're all galaxy. But when when she does it, she's gonna do a couple of things. Can I show? Can yeah. I see the beetle, Mel? Yes, you can. Yeah, because I actually did this on I'm my. Zoom in on your on my Zangor Enlightened, um, and I, I had, so you're gonna mask, my masking recommendation on something like this, when I, when I did this horn right here, like she's about to do, I would do, I would hold it like that and use okay. my hand to mask. Okay. Okay, I, I would hit it. You don't want to get too much here, so I, I'd go this way. Okay, then what she's gonna do is she's gonna have a Q-tip nearby that's wet, and anytime she gets some where it's not supposed to, she's just gonna clean it real quick with a wet Q-tip. Okay, I did this. Um, if you leave it top, myself. yeah, leave it top down here for a second. Okay. The guy I had on um, the the thumbnail for the show is the Zangor and Leiden. Um, I'm doing this on all my my discs for for my Z, for my Thousand Suns army, and you can see I had to mask off some gold because I kind of want to have the uh, the galaxy effect interplaying with the gold disc that that he's riding. Okay, how's it going? Uh, it, it's happening. Okay, I'll. I'll... Oh yeah, it's much cleaner the second time around. I have learned some things. <laughs> that was uh -huh. that was kind of my fault. Zach was like, "Just do it. I believe in you." <clears throat> yeah. Okay. This 
is so much fun. Okay. Back to front cam. Okay. So we did that. I, uh, because I'm on the channel and I get to talk for this, people are complimenting my hair and I get to talk about it because my friend got me a Dyson curler, which is like <laughs> yeah. this magical thing. Because I can't do hair whatsoever. It's not a skill I ever learned. And this thing, it's like, the, like the Volts, not the Volts, the, that's how well good I know. <laughs> well, a really nice car of curling things, and now I curl my hair, and I've been obsessed with it. And the studio, it's really loud and just. It's, is it? Yeah, it's because it's um, it's a Dyson makes vacuums, right? And then yeah, they yeah. got into hair tools, which is very weird, and it like sucks the hair in, and then okay. curls it, so you don't have like any anything, but. Any flyaways? Um, yeah, so my friend got it for my birthday, and I've been obsessed with it. Oh, okay. So I know. So I know you did a what you did a wedding this weekend. Yes, and I ended up having to do everyone's hair at the wedding because so we went and got a hair done. It was super cute, beautiful wedding, and then it rained, and so mm. everyone's hair looked like wet dogs. And so I luckily, and it was my friend who bought me it her wedding, and I was like, "Don't worry, Laura, I got you because you bought me this amazing gift. I have the ability to do everyone's hair." Nice. And it was so much fun. So I appreciate the compliment. You I'm saved like, the day with I'm your. I'm living my my best life. With you saved the day tool. with your Dyson hair. It, it is nice when you like get a nice piece of technology and like and you can it use works. it and it works. Yeah. And it works. Uh, um, totally agree. Yeah. So so it's like an, a fancy new airbrush. I got a fancy new hair. But tool. but I'm glad that you had like this reason to pull it back out right after the wedding. Yes. It's fun when you get to like use something for a wedding and like like oh two days later I'm gonna be on a live stream so yeah. I'll use it again. And like <laughs> yeah. so I appreciate it. Thank you. Uh, when do you galaxy effect with graffiti, you literally flick the paint between two fingers. Oh, interesting. Like, like, like that. I think she's, I think Melody's talking about graffiti. Yeah. Okay. That makes sense. Yeah. So I, I got blasted. What's next? Do we, is it black time? It is black and white time. Okay. So <clears throat> both Mel and I are at the stage now with our things where we are like, um, kind of done with the overall look, but while Mel's looks pretty good, mine doesn't actually. I don't. I don't. I don't think mine looks great. I, I get what's going on, but it I needs like it, it needs some work. So um, that's where this these last mm, four steps or so that we have are really where everything kind of comes comes together. So the first thing we're gonna do is we're gonna lighten up some areas with Minotaur Skull White. I'm gonna put a little on my brush and pass some to Mel. Is it coming out okay? Yeah, it sounds like. Yeah, it. I just wanted to make sure it was clean. Okay, uh, this guy's. Make sure this is clean for you. One of the worst things that can happen, guys, this is when you're painting any model. Um, these are my favorite. I always talk about how these are my favorite bottles because you can add paint back in and they're dropper bottles. Unfortunately, they do have this bad side where it leaks down oh. and then it gets in your hands and you touch your models and there's like white fingerprints. Oh, no, yeah, 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 yeah. Sorry. Just click, see it. It's on your hands now. Oh, that's So, fine. yeah, clean your, just, yeah. sorry. Yeah. <laughs> Being, to be honest, there's probably paint in my hair. There's no, paint that, everywhere. Paint in your hair and on your hands is okay, but on your model oh. and white white thumbprints is like because you're gonna hold it, you're gonna pick it up. Yeah, and, that's very true. Yeah, we've all like probably done that before, where you're like, oh, I'm like painting my towel hammerhead, or I'm painting my tank, and like suddenly you look down, there's like white thumbprints all over it, and you're like, oh my gosh, this has been going on for like 15 minutes. I've ruined this. Um, okay, so we are using Min Minotaur Skull White. And what we're going to be doing with it is, you, get, you guys can see off to the side here, all these colors I've got going. All this, this isn't going to turn anything white. All it's doing is lightening the area up. Okay, so we're, we're being careful with this. <clears throat> but, uh, yeah, so here we go. So I'm going to start lightening a few areas up. Uh, putting some areas that I want to be especially light, which include the center like swirl thing. It's a little like Milky Way vibe going on there. Or, or you know, any, any spiral galaxy, your standard spiral galaxy look. It doesn't have to be the Milky Way. Okay. So just lightening up a few areas. And what we're going to be doing here now, like the, the rest of the steps are alternating between white. Uh, and if, if, we're, if we've got it right, Mel's looks like it's pretty good. Um, I, I'm kind of curious how mine will come out. If we've got it right, we're going to do white, like we're doing now. Then we're actually going to do black. Then we're going to do another blast. Then we're going to uh, highlight. Uh, then we're going to paint a few novas in, supernovas. And then we're going to uh, do one more white. But you can see I'm just kind of picking out a few places that I want to elevate, make them a little bit brighter. 
Okay, and I, if I already feel better about how this is looking, even just after this first, this first white step here. I may have done a little too much white, we'll find out. That's okay, and I, I think that the big trick is you wanna localize it. Like, yeah. you wanna really kinda get in, and just put like a, a little dot here or there, and, and wherever you've built a cluster of stars, if you have any clusters that show Ooh. up. Okay, okay, it's nerve wracking. That's okay. There you go, that one, that's like, and remember, Mel, we're going back with black too, so we, we can tone we can tone the white back down. Yep, we'll need to do some toning. There. But that's actually looking. Uh, I think that's actually looking pretty good. Okay. 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 Yes, I agree. It looks okay. Okay, we're gonna do a little cleaning here. Chat would like to know how you do your hair. Well, I have to say that I'm you actually have fabulous curls. Well, I actually am am in the process of. Uh, getting a stylist here because I, I, I uh, this is the longest I've had my hair really in my adulthood. Um, I haven't had a haircut since, well, 40K fans. It's uh, honestly, I think the last time I got a haircut was right before LVO 2019. So that's oh. like January 2019. Um, so it's been, no, January 2020, excuse me, not, not that long. So it's been, it's been like almost 18 months. Um, <clears throat> and I use a, I don't know, I use a bunch of different products. I don't know, I'm still trying stuff, guys, honestly. Curly so. hair needs like a lot of like, uh, like things to be happy and healthy and there's a lot of products for curly hair. I'm yeah. Straight, straight, straight hair. Yeah, so um, if any curly hair people wanna recommend products, go ahead, please. Um, but I, my, my wife doesn't have curly hair really either, so she can't really help me. So I'm kind of on my own, but I am get, I am, I'm in the process of making an appointment. Now I'm just going to wipe off some of this excess <laughs> stuff. Okay. So you, do you remember the next step? It's black, black but yeah. I can't remember exactly where the black goes. Yeah. So <clears throat> that, that's a good question. Um, what we're going to be doing with the black that we add in. So I just want to make sure this doesn't get no jammed. I'm gonna put my beetle yes. on the glam can so you can see what the white did. Cause I was very scared, but I'm, I'm, I think I'm happy with it. So let's yeah. the booty's coming around. Yep. So we when we pulled it, your beetle up here earlier, yeah, um, we said that you could be done, but it was a little dark. Now no one would say it's a little dark. Yeah. Right. Um, the white really kind of helps. Uh, I mean, the white creates light. Yeah. If you want, can, if you can put my guy there too, yes. Mel. You'll see also mine, especially where I have like clusters. It is starting to, uh, here it comes spinning around. No, that's, that's good, yeah, there it is. You can see like where I have clusters, I kind of went a little heavier. Um, now what we need to do is we're gonna use black. And what we're gonna do with black is we're going to kind of create, uh, I'm trying to think how to say this. We're creating empty space, frankly, Shadow. like literally empty space, right? So I'll show you, I'll, if we want to do a zoom in here, Mel, I'll, I'll start by showing what I'm going to do with the black. Now, I'm actually going to use the primer I already used. I know that sounds crazy. Ah, oh, no, you know what I'm going to use? I'm going to use this nightshade purple. You could use the primer, though, or just any black. Um, I'm going to use this nightshade purple color that we started with. Ooh, let me, uh, here, I'll just do this and I'll pass it to you. How's that Perfect. sound? Well, sorry, I'm going to, uh, 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 yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> so, <laughs> um, okay. So <clears throat> here's my nightshade purple, which yes, for all intents and purposes is pretty much black. It's this one right here. And here I go now, I'm gonna kind of create some separation between some of the, the spaces that are happening here. And like by spaces, I sort of mean literally outer space. Like we're going through here and we're creating little areas of, uh, you know, the most abundant thing in the galaxy, empty space. So mine is gonna look a little different than Mel, just because mine is super like globe, globular and three dimensional compared to hers. So you might actually even be able to get to see the effect a little bit better on hers. But around these rings here, you can see the black is kind of helping isolate things a little bit better. And after all, space, all things in space are moving away from each other eternally, which is horrifying to think about. Space is horrifying. It's dark really fast here. Yeah. Do you think space is horrifying, Mel? Or are you, yeah, like, are you pretty much okay with space? No, I am one of those people who thinks like empty space is horrifying. And it's funny because um, I used to scuba dive 
Um, and I found that scuba diving was a lot of this idea of like really empty space. And to me, um, eternity, I like could, the only, the, how I describe the feeling of eternity is being in a complete open ocean with nothing around you. And I've been in a complete blank mm. open ocean. Mm. And it's like a very kind of mm. mind altering Did you ever see state. the movie Open Water? Oh my God, that's like my worst. Like, that movie is, that's, I can't, that's movies that, are off. That's horrible. That's the worst way to go. Um, anyway, yeah, so just another chill, chill <laughs> hang out here with us at Hobby Titans. Just talking about uh, dying in the ocean. Or well, in the vastness I was just of space. Topping, talking about scuba diving. So I think the first time my my wife and I, Meg and I, watched Gravity, we were like, <gasps> the whole Gravity time we were just like, oh my god, when is this nice. movie gonna stop? It was just like so overwhelming, very overwhelming. And anyway, that is the majesty of majesty of of Zinch demons. Just this giant galaxy galaxy ball on his back. Okay, as Mel creates some space uh, with her black, I'm going to now do uh, one more final star blast. And I already have a very nice kind of cluster in the middle of mine. So I'm going to avoid any clusters on mine. And you kind of want to address, you know, <clears throat> your uh, this is not this is not something when you're painting that you really have like 100% control over. So you're constantly reevaluating how it's coming out so far, and you have the ability to, to really kind of go back and and make changes at any point. So um, whether it's adding a little more blue, adding a little more red, uh, what whatever it is you want. I actually think before I do my last star blast, I might add a little bit more of the vivid red because I wanted this guy to come out just a little more red than it has. But that's kind of the, that's kind of the point with Galaxy uh, Effect, is you have a lot of ability to go back and, and touch touch a color up if you if you want if you want it. Yeah, I'm actually gonna touch it. I like I sprayed here on mine and I feel like it took away a lot of the so I'm gonna go back a little bit. Mm -hmm. Yeah. I always do that. Is everybody freaking out? No, of... Vincent apparently is educating us. We don't know if it's going to... I thought space was expanding for forever. Oh, it's like a... I think it may be... Is it a debate? It might be debate. I'm a doctorate. I know things not about space. <clears throat> yeah, it Does, doesn't work that way, right? <laughs> well, it's funny because I... Um, my like. Whenever I, my mother tells my family, they're like, oh yeah, she's a doctor. They'll like immediately think I'm a medical doctor and I'm a not helpful doctor. Um, and so like I'll have family members that'll be like, can you tell me about this rash? And I'm like, no. I'm like I can tell you about the geopolitical situation that causes you not to have health care. <laughs> I know, right? Like, the, have you seen that meme where it's, it's like, I, he, he needs a doctor. Yeah. It's like, I'm a doc. I'm a doctor in philosophy, and he's yeah. like, like no, he's no. dying. And then the doctor in philosophy is like, we're all dying. Yeah, we're all dying slowly. <laughs> we were all born dead. <laughs> in I've, the end, entropy will claim us all. Oh, gee. Yeah. No, check out dark. Check out dark. <clears throat> but in the meantime, galaxy nails. Galaxy nails. <laughs> <laughs> Until that happens. Um. Okay, so yeah, I, I, I think like th something to keep in mind, guys. Yeah, definitely a process. Um, every time I do it, almost every time I've done it, maybe with the exception of your nails yesterday, I don't think I went back and did a color. No, no, uh, you were like, we were done in like 15 minutes. Yeah, it was really fast. Um, I almost always go back and hit, hit like a color uh, a, a little bit more. Um, usually, honestly, red is like one of the reds and pinks. Are, are one of the big ones I, I'll frequently do. Okay, awesome. Wait, Melody, you're a doctor too? What a, we should chat about grad school. Uh, what are you getting your PhD or have gotten your PhD in? That's exciting. Vincent's still educating us. Think it's, about it, there's invisible elastic strings that keep the universe together. When they're stretched to maximum, the universe may collapse back again and that's horrifying, okay. Yeah, uh, either way. Let's talk about pretty pretty fun things. And by the way, it's also possible that Melody is just saying she's a fake doctor, as in like she just uh, pretends to be a doctor. Oh, I was just does I was just does, like, yeah, she uses performs illegal surgeries or gives out <laughs> you know, that's also what she can mean by I'm a fake doctor. I was just like, yeah. <laughs> okay, 
Okay. See, I think Galaxy may be a dangerous thing for me, given that my my norm is to just continually keep repainting, and now this is a design that is supposedly built into. Mm -hmm. Dane. Yeah, it can be. Ooh, Melody's a lawyer. Melody's a doctor of uh, a Judas Esquire. That means Melody should be referred to as Esquire. That is like the coolest like oh, that's cool. suffix. Uh, law school, uh, technically, if you're a lawyer, you, I, if I believe Melody, correct me, it's Esquire. That's super... Melody Wallace Esquire. <laughs> that's what? fun. I am doing one more blasting. I'm going back with blue. This is dangerous for me. Yeah, you eventually like what happens though if you get caught in a in a galaxy repaint loop, which I've done before. Um, one of two things happens. If you're doing somebody's nails, they're just like, "Can we be done?" And because it's like going on like ninety minutes, and no one wants to sit there and get their nails done for ninety minutes, yeah, exactly. uh, it's like worse. Yeah, right. So um, no, nobody wants that. Or you hit a point where you're like, "Wait, I don't think anything is actually improving." <laughs> that that happens as well. Um, so okay, Mel uh, Melanie, if possible, can we can we zoom in on on, yeah, on, you, on yes, yeah. while I keep repainting? Yes. Okay, so here we go. Getting there. Two last steps that I'm gonna do. First, um, if when you did your 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 star blasting, any big dots came out, great, keep them. Um, otherwise, you might want to go in and add some big dots. You can add big dots to specific locations um, where there are also kind of already big dots with a brush. I actually also like to use a toothpick in the past. Believe it or not, we weirdly don't have any here at the studio right now. At least not that, I know, not that I know of. So we're going to add a couple of dots in. And you're thinking like, wow, that's weird uh, because they look awful. And they do at first. but we're gonna give. Uh, we're gonna do kind of one of the hardest steps. Is the final step. It's a great. This is a great project where you can screw everything up on the last step. I'm just kidding. Awesome. It, it's fixable. It's fixable. Um, if you do screw it up. So I'm. I'm putting a few stars in. Give thought to where you put these stars in because these are really what's gonna draw the eye. You guys can see that already. Look at the white dots. Like immediately the white dots I painted stick out. Okay. Flipping to the other side. Again, I'm gonna put one in the nebula here. In the center, I'm going to put one up here. Uh, I want one here. Um, odd numbers are usually better, so like one, two, three, four, five down here. Okay, one, two, three. Odd numbers in asymmetry usually look the best. One, two, three, four, five. Let's see what I've got here. I didn't count. One, two, three, four, five. Perfect. Okay, I like odd numbers. Okay. Can so, I steal the white? Uh, yes. <clears throat> Do you need the toothbrush, or are you okay? No, not yet. I, I, okay, so essentially, I want to go back to like where I was five steps ago. Mm -hmm. Which um, you can do. Which is what I'm doing, and so mm -hmm. I need just a little white to brighten it. Um, but Matt asked you a question. Um, what made you fall in love with Tao? Oh. I didn't know you were a Tao. I thought I thought Brett was the Tao guy. Yeah. Um, I, I, it was my first army um, when I first started playing 40k uh, a really long time ago, and um, I thought, I, I kind of liked the way they had like both like a high science fiction type feel. Um, I'm not like an anime person at all or, or like a mech warrior person, so it wasn't that. A lot, a lot of times people um, assume a Tao player is into it because they like like mech stuff or anime. Um, I kind of liked a couple things about them. One, I liked their, like the high science fiction, and I also really liked like um, races like the Crute or like the movies. Kind of not that great, but like the the Avatar race and the movie Avatar, that are kind of like jungle jungly people, that like have more evolution, you know, as opposed to their technology. Um, and I liked the way that the two were combined. So it was like two of my favorite kind of like sci-fi alien tropes mixed, and they were like buddies. They like teamed up and formed an empire. Um, and then I, I just liked the way they looked, so um, compared to like a lot of the, the gothic stuff. You guys notice like I don't have any Imperial armies, because um, I, I think it's cool, but it's just not really for me. Um, like, I wish I could have armies without people. Yeah, Meganoi says that too. Which is interesting. Okay, okay. How's it going? 
Oh, I'm back to black. It's fine. Everything's okay. fine. I'm just spiraling out of control. I, this is my last step. <laughs> I promise. Maybe. I lie. That's fine. And the thing is, like, adding layers back, um, before Mel cleans out the black, I might take it again. Um, because if you're putting, like, these thin layers of paint over top of the stars, they're not necessarily disappearing. They're fading. And that gives the good, like, kind of 3D look of, like, looking into, uh, like, a really awesome, like, like image of outer space where, you know, here's this star and then, you know, like a billion uh, light years down the road is like another star. Toothbrush? Flicky, yes, I need flicky to get brush. Blasted. I'm literally just making this. Uh, use your towel to dry it off there for a okay. second now, but it's, it's um, so yeah, I'm going to kind of just tone down a few places where there's a little too many stars. Uh, but like I said, the cool part about the black is that it doesn't really delete the stars. It just kind of like fades the stars. Although you could delete the stars with it if you if you put enough down. Okay, cool, cool, cool. And our last step, after the blasting, the final blasting. Are you doing your final blasting? I now? am doing the final blasting. Okay. The last step after the final blasting, um, and we put our individual stars in. Mel, I, here's the brush I use to put extra, like big stars in okay. if you want. The big star step is optional, but for me, it's like kind of the most important. I feel like it's, I don't know. You'll see here why the big star step is so important. The final step, and I do recommend, um, I know I've been saying like you can do all this with an airbrush. You can do this with a, with a Patriot, with a, the, the Patriot size airbrush, or like a, you could do it with an Iowata. Uh, Eclipse probably a little bit easier than a Patriot, but I, I like to use the Sotar because it's so tiny. Because what we're going to do is we're going to use the white that we've been using, and we're going to find spots that have stars that we just added, the, the big stars that we've added. And we're going to uh, put a little blast, a little halo around them. Um, okay, before we do that though, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to do like a little public safety chat here to clean your paint thing because if you don't what has happened to Mel and I will happen to you which is that well actually we were lucky we didn't screw up our models did we uh who knows did you get any thumbprints white thumbprints I mean at this point the whole model is going to need to be repainted which is great um because <laughs> um like even I don't know how I got stars on the butt like the underside but I did um, yeah blasting is can be kind of messy um anyway do make sure you don't have that's like the worst getting it on your okay now here, um, when Mel has a sec, I'm gonna ask her to, zo to zoom, shoulder zoom again here for me. Okay, I've already created like a galaxy over my paper, so give it a few tests, make sure your flow is, is where you want it. Uh, and this is actually, the flow here is almost like too good right now. Okay. Get your aim down, and, and what you're doing is you're looking for little dots. My aim keeps being a little bit... There we go. Okay, so I'm, I'm t testing my aim. And then I'm going to go in, and I'm going to hit... That was a little too much. I'm going to hit a few spots right around some stars where they're a little too bright, or where they're nice and bright, like the big bright stars we added in. Hmm. Okay, you can see that kind of helps them pop out as the stars, the big bright stars that they are. And on this side, same thing. Your wife popped into chat and said, for real, if they really wanted to draw on girls, they would just make an all horse army. And yes, Adrian always like calls me over when any horse model is created because I get really pissy if the horse is incorrectly like a inaccurate because I, I know horses very well. Mm -hmm. And I would just like lecture. Like he was playing, um, I think it was Red Dawn or the cowboy. Mo oh, Red Dead Redemption. Yeah, Red Dead Redemption. And the thing is, they their horses that were faster were big draft horses, and that's just not correct, right? Big draft horses are much slower, and I was very upset. That the that they had gone there. Yeah, wrong. I was like, this is incorrect. You just all you do is ask one horse. I was gonna say, not not a thing that you have to get wrong, yeah, right? Like I easy know. to get that right. I'm so glad. Isn't it fun when I'm on and just chat goes awry? No, it's great. Um, and, you know, the thing is that 
I think an all-horse army is an, all, is an awful idea. Um, <laughs> Just because it's really not compelling beyond that, um, you, yes, but maybe I guess I'm maybe I'm being um, uh, I, I don't know maybe I'm thinking gendered too army. gendered. Well, that's the I think like I don't know. I guess I would want to know what they mean by an all horse army. Like what what could that like look like? Just a centaur. A herd of horses just come at you. Yeah, I don't know. <coughs> Excuse me, guys. I I don't know. Um, I don't think I, I did when, when Megan did make a 40k army, she, she chose Tyranids. Um, again, she kind of had a similar uh, take on as you did, Mel, which is like, she didn't really want an army that had people. And that includes like, that included like aliens, right? Like she didn't want, she didn't want Eldar um, or Drakari or anything like that. She wanted, uh, she wanted something that was very like, you know, like, a, like Xenomorph, like alien from alien, right? Um, so, I don't know. That, that's interesting. I mean, we always do talk about how how could War how could Warhammer attract more uh, more female players, um, and you know we have a small sample set, but we now have two of our Titan wives who say make an all horse army. Well, you're being, you're making a gendered <laughs> assumption there, my friend. Yeah, I know it's true. Like equestrian, like I, actually, some of the the best equestrians at high levels are actually men. That is also because there's a bias in like men getting to elite level sports, but equestrian is not actually a female dominated industry, interestingly enough. Well, we, it just has the reputation because I think horse girls got like too horse, much of a reputation. Horse, yeah. Um, I guess the real question is though, would you, would, would you be all in on an all horse army? Yes, yes. But I also <laughs> own horses. Like, yeah, yeah. like I'm at the, the high end of that field. No. Okay, I need to do that step. I think. Oh yeah. You cleaned it out before I did it. No, no, I want it needs it needed to get cleaned out. It was being a little funky. I think you're also going to redo my nails. Oh man, have you? I don't know. Does it bother anyone else? Like his Apple Watch band is like just crazy, and I'm always wondering. I'm like, that's like this fancy watch, and then you're just like paint band. Well, the paint band's not not too not too expensive, so. Um, okay, Mel, are you ready yes. for this step? No, not this is Th where it's this, all going to go. This is wrong. a hard step. This is a hard one. So practice a bit. I'm going to pass it to you. Make sure all the water's out. I'm trying to make sure it's out for you. Make sure your flow is good. Always with the, this kind of yeah. step, guys. Make sure your flow is good. And can I have some white paint? Oh yeah. Make sure your flow is good and and practice on on the little stars. You guys can see I I I did little glows around here and then now I have them on mine. Okay. <laughs> now, Mel, while you do that, can we hit? Glam clam? Glam yes, clam? I realize we've been zoomed glam in cam? this whole time. That's okay. Talking about ponies. Um, so here we go. Let's let's. My vortex beast has his star, his stars on his back now. By the way, the vortex beast just has like a back, and then you just slot this thing into his back. It's pretty amazing. You could paint this like any way you want it. Okay, this is not going well for me. Okay, so there we've got some stars. And there is our Vortex Beast. He's a bright guy. Not necessarily intellectually. I'm not sure if they're smart or not. But vividly, right? And there is the galaxy that he is going to shoot at you on his back. Okay, so I think this step is too advanced for me. Mainly because I kept missing, and so I'm going to not do this step. Okay, that's, all, that's also fine, yeah. Um, now, the other way you could do this step, <coughs> so, so you guys know in the future, uh, and Mel, you could probably still do this if you yeah. want it, is you can do it the other way around. So in other words, if you're not sure oh. that your aim is great, just put a few bright dots down. This is smart. Just put a few bright dots down, and then go in and put a dot in the middle of, of, the, show, of the halo. I can show what, so beautiful, that looks beautiful. See what happened. We went awry on mine, and I can show what Zach is actually recommending. So if we look at this beautiful booty. I put a star here, and then just shot here. <laughs> yeah. I put a star here, and then shot here. Yeah. Uh, I get a little closer here. I put a star here, and then shot here. And so what Zach is saying, given that we knew my aim was in, a, in a, gonna be bad, I can now go and put a star here in the white dot. So I think that's an excellent recommendation. Yeah. Um, but the glow effect is really nice at the end because, um, you know, like even like if you zoom back in Mel one more time on my yes. shoulder zoom, I'll play with my paper, right? Even like all of this right here, like this just looks like paint splatter until I start going in and, and 
you know, what I'm really doing by putting in little clusters like this, what I'm really doing is saying like, hey, there's just a few million more stars right behind there, right? And now it starts to look a little more like, like a galaxy. So the, the, the final kind of glow effect around, around spots where there are stars is super is super. Uh, I, I think I think it's a big a, st a big step. You you could skip it, but I would try this alternate method that I'm suggesting, where you paint the big dots first. Yeah, that is working much better. And then do that. Yeah. I would say if you are not an airbrush expert, you should do that. Galaxy effect. Who knew? Who knew? Well, I think it's I think it's a, this is one of the reasons why people like me should be on this more. Like, I am not an airbrush expert. I do most of my painting with dry brush techniques. Yeah. They're, like, so aim. Aim is hard. Aim is hard. It, you're, you're not wrong. Like, that's that's a real thing. Um, and it's also, like, if you, even if you kind of have, feel like you have it down, there could be something up with your needle. Like, everything, uh, ev everything you do with the airbrush could be, like, fine and you're you're like wow my aim is off you're never feeling that way until suddenly you need to aim then you go to do it and you realize like wow everything is going to the left of where i think it's supposed to be going but you don't realize you've kind of just like adjusted for that as you've painted things like tanks and trees and and uh capes and stuff like that but when you actually need to aim you're like oh it's not aimed actually <laughs> it's it's going off to it's going off to one angle or or another um Awesome. What do you think? I think it looks great. Oop, it's, it's leaking. Leaking? Don't, don't ask, don't ask. <laughs> I guess I was trying to clean off one of the stars and I got some water on it. Yeah, I think this looks amazing. Let's glam cam it. Do it. So here's my wow. little space beetle. I love it. I'm super excited, especially since now I get to go in and repaint all the green stuff. So it's definitely going to be this like, Galaxy versus that. I also did, I don't even ever think we said anything, but I was doing the Alariel's wings as well. And she's the one that rides the beetle. And as you can see, I don't even have Alariel. I just have the beetle and the wings because that's what I prioritize. Okay, Mel, we don't need the wings. Here's what we've been waiting for all day. Oh, you ready? Oh, really? Ready to play? Yes. Come on, grab your beetle. Come okay. on, let's Are do we going to fight? Yeah, we're going to fight. We're going to fight. Well, let's be honest. <laughs> like, I'm winning. Let's look at that. Like, just galaxy horns. Just push. Oh, yeah. Oh, I'm going to almost break it. That's okay. Look at how good oh my that God. looks. Look at how good your slime looks. Let's be honest, like that's pretty intense. Okay. Is that they a, they had a fight. Have, you're gonna have to do a like texture one where you teach how to make wet things. <laughs> how to make, yeah. Um, awesome. Guys, I think we did. Are we caught up on chats? I think we are, right? I think we are. I'm gonna zoom up just in case. And like now's it if you have questions, why is the mouse? Doing oh, you gotta click, and it's scary too, right? Because like when oh, you're live I, streaming, you don't want to just like randomly click. I could almost click. It. I know everybody's like, "Wow, the mouse doesn't work." It's like you have to click, and no one. I, no, I have ended a stream. I've done it a couple times. Let's be honest. Like yeah, you. Okay, need... yeah. Uh, oh, perfect. Yes. We are caught up on chats. If there's any other questions, send them now. Alario's thighs with people. Oh my God, Alario does a do. I have my... Yeah, she's right behind. I do. She has, like... So she's not painted, and I'm... And I'm <laughs> Zach's like, let's end the stream. And I'm like, no, let's <laughs> no, that's look okay. at Alariel's just massive, like, thick thighs save lives. And she's going to have these wings. It's going to be awesome. But, yeah. So that model is really cool. Yeah, the, um, the Sylvaneth line is amazing. Oh, I love um, it. The AOS was, like... I just like I couldn't hold out any longer. The the stuff was just too beautiful, yeah. um, and then I ended up playing ogres, who are like one of the ugliest armies, but it's beautiful ugly, right? Um, okay, so let's talk about what's happening tomorrow. A game on our sister channel, Tabletop Titans. As always, I will be there. Bridger will be there. John will be there. If you're a Tabletop Titans fan, you know that when it's me, John, and Bridger, it's pretty much like no adults in the house. So we we like to have fun. Saturday, we're like all all over the place. Yes, we are, and no one's here. No one's here. So if you I, I, I don't know, if, been told. Yeah, I don't know if anyone. I was trying to decide. If, if, I think it was just Brett that would be here, and so we were talking about like a fireside chat with Brett. Yeah, is Brett going to be back by then? He's at, he, Brett, Brett's away right now. I guess he's in stream. Um, anyway, th either it's just Brett, and I don't think he's going to want to do just a show by himself, or it's like no one. Yeah. So the Titan team is going one to a team tournament, right? Yeah. That's one of the first things. So I believe Brett, Brian, not, not Brett, Brett, Bridger, Brian, John, 
Are you playing in it? I'm not. Okay. Um, and then a bunch of other people in our Bay Area uh, local team is going to a team tournament. Team tournament. The yeah, the team tournament. It's Thank you. <laughs> in in Las Vegas. And so, uh, if you're a member of the the Titan community, you'll see a bunch of updates on that over on our Discord. Yeah. And Where are you gonna be? I'm actually kind of staying in the area, but I'm playing a I'm playing like my first like big AOS uh, all day competitive event. Oh my gosh! Everyone put uh, cheers for Zach and good yeah, luck. Yeah, gonna gonna. Are you playing your ogres? Yeah, I'm gonna trample trample some some people, so. That's gonna be so exciting. <laughs> and Adrian and I are going to Disneyland for my birthday. Yeah, I'm an adult. That's also fun. Uh, so, no show Saturday. That's the point. We're gonna have a lot of fun, but we can't. Do a yeah. show. We're taking like a, a weekend to the do fun things. One doing a show is fun too, though. Yeah. So we hope you will forgive us. Yes. Um, otherwise, I think that's it. That covers the rest of this week. Um, next week we have something planned that'll come up soon, and you guys will see what that is. Um, very excited that you joined us, Mel. Thanks for joining. That's excellent, and you will also be posting. Yeah. This. Look, look in the next uh, coming up in, on the week on Hobby Times. Uh, we'll have a, like a, a video up that uh, is a little more involved of the process Mel and I uh, did to, to paint her galaxy nails. And yeah, again, guys, if you've got an airbrush, you're a hobbyist, give back to your non-hobbyist people in your life, right? Some of us like isolate ourselves in, the, in, in our room and we just like work all the time. Uh, so, you know paint someone's nails. And I mean, I, we get questions all the time on stream on like, how can you get your like significant, uh, what is that? I'm just, I was just making sure oh, I pushed sorry. the right button. It's going to be that. Okay. Yeah. That would make sense. The rocket ship. Brett, um, Brett, Brett made it a rocket ship. Of course they did. <laughs> um, but like how to spend time, like get your partner into the hobby. Like this was a way Adrian and I spent time together. Yeah. He would like do my nails and it was a lot of fun. And uh, then I would do his nails because you know, gender equality and yeah. design. Yeah. He's into uh, it. I mean, they look everyone awesome. should be into it. It's yeah. awesome. So that is one of the recommendations. Definitely. Um, guys, as we say here, be kind to each other, be kind to yourself, and always be creating. Bye. See you guys.